fellow Toastmasters, welcome to a Presentation Wizard podcast. I am your host, Peter Ward. Today's topic will be that great speech by Yui Long, Every Man a King. may have a fair chance, which it is not having at this time when 12 or 15 men in the United States own more than all the balance of the people put together. The Constitution of the United States carried out the Declaration of Independence. And if you read the Declaration of Independence, you'll find that it says that we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they have certain inalienable rights, that among them are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And there can be no pursuit of happiness with people starving and going naked in the land that has too much. Huey Pierce Long, Jr., born on August 30th, 1893, was an American Democrat politician and senator from Louisiana, the state for which he became governor. His radical policies met with huge public approval, but his life was cut short. He was assassinated on September 10, 1935. Long was passionate about helping ordinary working people to share in the country's wealth In 1934, he created the Share Our Wealth program, which had as its motto, Every Man a King. The initiative called for wealth distribution measures to be put in place so that the country's economic wealth could be distributed fairly after the Great Depression, which had left the U.S. with high levels of crime and crippling poverty. The public liked Long's enthusiasm and realistic view of what could be. His charisma was infectious and his popularity grew fast, specifically for his social reform ideas and his willingness to take forceful action. He was regarded as a champion of the common man. He thought that every American was entitled to a home, a proper education, a car, and a job that paid a proper wage. By the mid-1930s, he had reached almost film star status. Long was said to have been shot by a Dr. Weiss, who apparently had a political grievance against the Louisiana governor. Long died at the age of 42. Allegedly, his last words were, quote, God, don't let me die. I have too much left to do, unquote. The key planks of the Share Our Wealth platform included no person would be allowed to accumulate a personal net worth of more than 300 times the average family fortune. Graduated capital levy tax would be assessed on all persons with a net worth exceeding $1 million. Annual incomes would be limited to $1 million and inheritances would be capped at $5.1 million. Every family was to be furnished with a homestead allowance of not less than one-third the average family wealth of the country. Every family was to be guaranteed an annual family income of at least $2,000 to $2,500, or not less than one-third of the average annual family income in the United States. Yearly income, however, cannot not exceed more than 300 times the size of the average family income. An old age pension would be made available for all persons over 60. To balance agricultural production, the government would preserve or store surplus goods 
abolishing the practice of destroying surplus food and other necessities due to lack of purchasing power. Veterans would be paid what they were owed, a pension and health care benefits, free education and training for all students to have equal opportunities in all schools, colleges, universities, and other institutions for training in the professions and vocations of life. The raising of revenue and taxes for the support of this program was to come from the reduction of swollen fortunes from the top as well as for the support of public works to give employment whenever there may be any slackening necessary in private enterprise. Huey Long used a national radio broadcast to spread his ideas about the redistribution of wealth. He knew that the floor was his. The language of the address was powerful and Long's rhetoric a mix of humor and invective. He used quotations from the scriptures as well as offering profanities. There were stark facts, challenging statements, and rhetorical questions. He spoke in a way that everyone would understand, and he used language with which all listeners would identify. People felt that he was one of them. One news reporter commented, quote, Better than any other politician I've known, Huey knew what his audiences wanted to hear, unquote. Share our wealth. The campaign for redistribution of opportunity and fortune was from a speech given by Democratic presidential candidate William Jennings Bryan, orator greatly admired by Long and indeed many across the length and breadth of the United States. At the beginning of the broadcast, Long set out his stall in simple, repetitive phrases. He appeared confident and focused, quote, share our wealth societies are now being organized and people have it within their power to relieve themselves from this terrible situation, unquote. In truth, at the time, there were very few share our wealth societies in action. The language he used was bright and energetic, quote, how many of you remember the first thing that the Declaration of Independence said. It said, we hold these truths to be self-evident that there are certain inalienable rights of the people and among them are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And it said further, we hold the view that all men are created equal. Now, what did they mean by that? Did they mean, my friends, to say that all men were created equal? And that meant that any one man was born to $110 billion? And that another child was to be born to inherit nothing? Long was one of the first politicians to appreciate the power of radio as a brilliant medium. He made many broadcasts, and people liked his positive style and his confident and fervent manner. He closed his Every Man a King broadcast with the powerful use of phraseology. Quote, now we have organized a society, and we call it the Share Our Wealth Society, a society with the motto, Every Man a King. Every Man a King so there would be no such thing as a man or woman who did not have the necessities of life. We propose to limit poverty that we will allow to be inflicted upon any man's family. Every man a king. Every man to eat when there is something to eat. All to wear something when there is something to wear. That makes us all sovereign. Unquote. By the spring of 1935, over 7 million Americans had formed local Share Our Wealth societies, and this success acted as a formal base for Long's anticipated presidential bid. However, Long was assassinated and his proposals were never adopted. Nevertheless, the Share Our Wealth ideas directly influenced President Franklin Roosevelt's administration. 
As governor of Louisiana, Long achieved a great deal, including vast increases in new road mileage, many new bridges, free books for schools, new schools, evening classes, particularly to assist in adult literacy, new hospitals, airports, and a new and fairer state voting system. Interestingly, views today on Long are divided. Some recall him as a man of and for the people, while others see him as a power-crazy bully. Whatever the view, after his death, there were many politicians who emulated his speaking style and adhered to his program of social change.